Hello, and welcome to City Cruise Live. Today, we're going to continue with The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 2. A lot of uh, quite interesting stuff happened in the previous episode. Oh, you can actually have a little preview. Well, it'll already tell us a preview when we start the episode. But yeah, there were quite a few uh, things that happened. We'll see if we can get through a whole episode in this stream as well. Anyway, I guess uh, let's begin. I'm going to close my window while this think? happens. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about cold. Now I'm going to go look for you. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? So yeah, there were a lot of uh, bad things that happened. Uh, so, since you're mainly mean ramming, what's your plan? So mean. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Yeah, Come simple. this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! I chose to save this guy instead of the other guy, because the other guy is not nice. But hopefully he doesn't die. He might die. He'll probably die. We have to go. Dang damn it, Nick. In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. I have such a good trailer voice. <laughs> I have the best trailer voice. And where are we? <laughs> oh yeah, Clementine's good. So cute. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. Is he bitten? What are you looking at? Yeah, I like it. Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Oh, he got bit. Hand me that there. Are you sure? I got nothing to lose. Other than my piggly wigglies, of course. <laughs> Not the piggly wigglies. Doesn't well Yeah, I would agree. She was better in the first season of this game. In this one she just sounds dead. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just. Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. Yeah, she just sounds dead in this one. There's a lot of stuff in here. In... I'll try to find something to help. In the first season, she was much happier. 
<laughs> this one, I think they they went a bit too much on the dead inside. <laughs> so she sounds really sad, but hopefully she gets happier and sounds a bit better later in the seasons. <coughs> Somewhat, yeah. Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. I'm not sure why it's so. I'll keep looking She's around. She's so dead. Ah, oh, and maybe I shouldn't have used the water bottle before. Where is the stress? <laughs> okay, now let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a key in the ignition. Can we drive this? The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how old she is. I think she's like. They probably did change voice actor. Out of gas. Ah. Uh, okay. Out of gas. What's in here? Is it gonna be gas? What's in there? Food. Anything we can use? Cigarettes. Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Hand it here. I'll just give it. I ain't gonna question a dead, uh, almost a dead guy, wanting to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Interactive gameplay. <laughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. But I think they wanted her to be monotone because her animation is also. She looks dead. <laughs> Look at how dead she looks. <laughs> She's so dead. Well, they just didn't even care anymore. I don't know. Hopefully, she like gets better as the episodes go on. She's just so sad. So dead. Oh, is he dead? Is he a zombie? Oh, I think he is. Oh, he's about to be. Okay, he's not zombified yet. Oh, damn it. Well, she's not a child anymore. I think I she's like 15. Jesus. <clears throat> Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? No, he's definitely going to turn into a zombie. Thinking. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. What does it feel like? It feels like like a rope was wrapped around my neck. I'm getting tighter every second. It feels like I can't. Oh, uh, he's gonna turn very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. Breathe. I can feel it. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I don't even know where Nick is. Stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. He's been playing a tough hand, but he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. People remember that. Today. Why? He's gonna be Thanks. dead. Where are you going? Is he gonna sacrifice himself? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. Oh no, Pete. He's gonna sacrifice himself. Some time. 
I don't think he can come with me. I just say thank you because there's nothing we can do. You, Pete. He's oh, definitely going to be a zombie. My nephew now, right? Wait for my signal and run straight to the woods. Zombie Pete just always repays death. All right. Thank you, Zombie Pete. What was he gonna do? I just talk the horn or something? Let's get this over with. There's no fuel, what? What does he plan on doing? Oh, okay. I guess that's enough to get them that direction. Oh. Rest in Pete. <laughs> Rest in peace, Pete. <laughs> the noise. Is there not? Are you talking about stream noise or oh, game noise? Episode two: The House Divided. Well, I got some sad news for everyone. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you. Where's Alvin? I got some bad news for everyone. <laughs> Ours. Where are they? Clem. We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus. We all got split up. I was with Pete, but. Oh my God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Dun, dun, dun. Why is she so impulsive? Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. <laughs> I told them not to go. Damn it, Rest Luke. in peace. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. Okay. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. I'm sure there's going to be a zombie that comes. Hey, kitty girl. There's going to be a zombie that comes here. I can feel it. And then I'm going to have to try and save uh, Sarah. No, Sarah, this is a zombie apocalypse. Stop messing with me. House. There was all kinds of old stuff. I could kill you. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. 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 I'm not gonna like it. Get me in a good pose, okay? Sure. Oh, we have to. Okay, oh. I'm ready. It'd be nice if we could actually, like. Take it. I don't know. Smile. There we go. Did it actually. No, it just does a generic thing. What's wrong? Hello, um, kitty girl. Where's my dad? You should know they're fishing. Clem, you're He'll be fine. Me. He'll, be, He'll fine. be fine. Are you sure? Zombie Pete will come. That would be quite emotional. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... No, Sarah, don't cry. I promised your father that I would make sure you don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> You want to see what I found? Sure. As long as you don't cry. Oh, that's a gun. Show me how to use it. Uh. I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay. What do I do? The most important thing is. I bet it's got like a shoot. bullet in it still. Take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't oh, do 
Sarah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Sarah. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. What is wrong with you, Sarah? Hey, Luke's back. Is it zombie Luke? <laughs> is this eight? Is it zombie Luke? I d I don't even remember who Luke was. Uh, who is that? Zombie Pete? Don't go outside. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, I don't think I should. Because Carlos told me I should stay inside. Oh, but who is that? That's not Luke. It's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Wait, why are you going to the door? This is not my decision. Hello. What am I? Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river on kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Shake hand cautiously. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, this thing's just, yeah, it is. You mind if I come in for a bit? Uh, please leave. Would you please leave? It's a nice place. Is what are you doing? Around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah, I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. <laughs> They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. Couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. I know this guy's gonna be a bad guy. But he's got a gun. I might have a gun. But I think he's, good. he's probably going to be better at it. A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding. I'm not gonna grab. Why would I grab the knife when he's yeah, down by the river there? There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. How long have you been there? Been there for a good while now. Really? What are you doing? Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Crab knife. I don't want to be this too aggressive. Nice place. Kinda cozy. I don't want to anger him. Who knows what will happen? I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch, but a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Like you? Well, well, White's in trouble. 
Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? <laughs> That's our only response. <laughs> I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Yeah, that's always a good excuse. Obviously. Told you nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. How's he gonna? Ooh. <clears throat> Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Thank you. W wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Why would you remember? <laughs> Repeat. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Hey, yeah. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Hey, calm hey, down. I try to do things. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? George. Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? What was he? Oh, no. What Sound was he wearing? Different? How old was he? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? <laughs> you know, these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Who is wait. this guy? We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Bring you back? Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. 
He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Okay. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out. No, rip in Pete. <laughs> Pete's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. You should be sorry. You're a, a mean you. person. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has mm. a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it... I feel like this pregnant sometimes. woman's been, uh... hoeing around. Because she doesn't know who the father is of her baby. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? No, oh, he's probably a zombie now. And we're gonna see zombie Pete. And it's gonna be a sad time. There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. Oh wait, is that Nick? Sight. So he came back. Blood trail. Anyone see him? I'm guessing we're gonna see him as soon as we turn around. Oh my! Yep. I I'm not a doctor, but I think he's dead. Oh what do you think, Carlos? What happened? I need a medical happened? expert opinion. Shot. Oh, thank you, Carlos. <laughs> he didn't have a gun. Who did this? But why Son would? Of a bitch. Hmm. We need to go. He's gone, Nick. He, he he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. What are you gonna do, Nick? You can't do anything. Just go. Yeah, the bad guy or whatever group that he's a part of must have done it. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. Like a rating game. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose him up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Now, oh, Nick, what are you doing? Oh, 
I'm in trouble. With what? See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. Oh, there's a bridge. Shelter. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? <laughs> I think <laughs> okay. so. Good. Here, keep this I'm not in trouble. The zombie trouble. things will not get me. I'm a big girl. <laughs> hey, where was I looking before? There was something. Oh, there I go. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. That's physically impossible. Is it? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go, Beck. Come on. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. Is there anything else? I don't think so. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. How are we gonna get there? We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. It's al Hold already on, almost night time. Then I'll go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. Yeah, that was it's gonna be fun. fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, super professional. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. <laughs> They're just still on edge. Ah, uh, Nick. Thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. Family. What do you think they're all after? Family. I'll go it's with a the, tough world out there without the nice can trust. Rat. But food would probably be the real answer, because it's a zombie apocalypse. Anyway, you, you can ask Rebecca. Okay, but I guess you need a group of people to be a family We've all made to get things. food. So I don't know. Things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Okay, some zombies. Hmm. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. There are only two. What do you, what think? you think? I think we can take them. I'll take the big one. You get short. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. The zombies? <laughs> oh, I got a hammer. Nice. But I'm hoping that... Oh. Oh, no. Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> come on, pull. Wait, which way? Wait. Meh. Meh. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Nice work, kid. Ow. Why is she always, she always sounds dead. Come on, Clementine. Lift up those spirits. Uh, 
Ah, oh, another two. <laughs> I wish you'd just like the wooden floor would just break and he just falls through. Shit. That'd be funny. Oh no. There's three of them and two of us. If I'm good at math, that means we dead. Ah. Uh, uh. I'm okay. I just I'm stuck. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Ah, uh, we should have brought a second person. Or third person. Oh, shit. Ah, Q. Uh, I don't like the Q things. It's really difficult. <laughs> Shadow of Mordor it. Oh, no, I dropped the hammer. Now how am I supposed to... Hit them in the up. Oh. Mm. You know he could just stay there right now, like he's safe in that position, and just wait for me to be fine. Oh, get that thingy and do the thingy, right? Do the thingy, oh, right in the face, right in the face. Right in the face. Nice. Okay, now we can save him, I'm hoping. Oh. Just stay there. Just stay there. Here, give it here. Oh. Oh. Dang. Okay. Well, he made it up. That's a good thing. Whew. Wait, he has a gun. Why don't he just shoot it in the face? Thanks, Clem. Okay. Let's keep going. Well, we survived that. Hurrah! Too loud? Who me? You see him? Ah, oh, you're talking about the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm always. Stressful about my stream just play it setup. Cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. <laughs> don't well, shoot me. Who are you? Who's asking? Don't shoot me. Uh, Wanna help me out here? I'm mm. Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Yes. <laughs> this is an awkward scene. What? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Oh, Are thank you, you. No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. We all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Do you know Carver? Carver? Like George Washington Carver? The peanut guy? No. What? What's wrong with you? Never heard of him. But now I want some peanut butter though. I gotta say, Dang, it. you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's Good job, uh, logic, awful nice of you. What's the catch? <laughs> no catch. I've got plenty. Well, alright then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want. What? what the fuck, man? What? What? What the hell is he doing? What? No, no, no. What? He's, he's with us. <laughs> Dick! No! Put it down! Don't shoot! What is going on? 
Wait, what? What is going on? Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Damn it, Nick. Literally every plot problem we've had so far has been in some way with Nick. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> yes, Clementine. Tell him. <laughs> what did you say, Clem? Is that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I no, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge. We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Push Nick Look, off the bridge. Can I talk to you Gladly. Around? But we promised Pete that we'd look after Nick, even though Nick is a klutz. Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. Yeah, <laughs> <Small laughs> like though. You could use a little downsizing. You're one to talk. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Search the station. Is this the station? Where's the station? Let's talk to Nick. We gotta make sure he's okay. We gotta look after our little Nick for Pete. Kill my mom. What? Uh, okay. Hmm. Understandable. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? His his voice just changed like heaps. Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan, some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, "Nick, we're burning daylight," and that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. Well, maybe, Nick. I'm just not. You shouldn't Don't shoot me. random people that you find. Okay, Nick? That's not how you talking about me right now. be a good person. Dude, he's becoming a danger to the group. <laughs> so who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave uh. it to me. I think I remember that. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. I remember that watch. So I was supposed to steal it? Thanks, game. That makes sense. Teaching me to steal. Go with Clem. I am Clem. <laughs> Yeah, uh, empty cans. That's not good. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. No, is it locked? I don't see a key around here. 
That man probably had it. That survival knife. I'll take that. It's not like he's gonna use it anymore. Feels pretty good. It feels pretty good here. Yeah. Cut. I guess he slept here. No, oh, thanks, Clementine. Was this radio? It's dead. Just like you, Clementine. <laughs> and your acting. <laughs> uh, is there nothing else in here? No food? He said there was plenty of food. Why would he lie? No, okay. Can we go that way? It's probably all in the chest. Yeah, maybe. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. <laughs> okay, who else can we talk to? Well, what else can we do? What am I missing, game? Well, I don't think there was any way that we could save him at this point. Unless I have to, like, take his gun. But I still. Is there still more things to do in here? There's nothing else to do. Oh wait, oh use a knife on the trunk. Oh I get it. <laughs> Does he even work? Yeah, I don't know. Look at that power. That's straight. Ooh. Well that's still not a lot of food. But he's got some books. Got some food. Man. Not that we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. <laughs> Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah. What? Sure yeah, okay, now I I, don't know what I think I he's just time. being dead for no reason. I'm just saying. Her voice you acting. You ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Oh, uh, wait. Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in a Oh, oh someone followed, died. I think. And she shot another Ah, kitty girl. Thank you for following. What'd you do? You left her behind. Damn. Only five more followers till 100. And then I'll start using my webcam, my webcam That's funny. after that. She looks just like you. What are you trying to say? Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here. And Rebecca, well... She's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against mm. the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. The whole, the whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a <laughs> shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. You're welcome. The hell is that? Oh no. Oh. Walkers. Why? We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. There were two cans of food in there. Did you take the two cans of food? Please tell me you took both cans and not just the one that was in your hand. Uh, because of the gunshot? Yeah, probably. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Uh, but my knowledge serves me right. Usually these places that are boarded up well, 
No one can escape, and no one can enter. Which means, anyone inside are zombies. It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall what am I, a monkey? I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> why is Clementine? Why are you so dead? I once had a treehouse. I hated it. <laughs> just take why, it Clementine? Slow. I'll catch you if you Why fall. do you hate everyone in this Probably. season of The Walking Dead? Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Don't look down. Oh, oh, you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me. Okay? Don't. You're no. Fine. Why would I look at you? Right, Don't just, look just down. Slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Okay, another lookout. Hello, crow. At least you aren't a magpie. Made okay, it. what are you doing? You see anything? Well, that's the bridge. Trees. It's really dark. Oh, what is that? A car or a torch? Light. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Oh, what's happening down there? Maybe things are heating up. Things are. Get in over oh, okay. Something's going on. So there's lights on the bridge and there's someone who might be a threat over here. Listen everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone call I don't know you sound hey, you pretty aggressive. Down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, Fuck man. that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Clementine, use your cute powers and just, uh... Wait. Kenny. What? Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I... I thought you were dead. Kenny, where were you? I'll take that as a yes. A yes to he's dead. <laughs> we can talk inside. Great. Kenny, ah, uh, I'll save you. It's gonna storm soon. Please come in. What happened to him last season? I kind of forget. Where did we lose him? Because he lost his son and his wife. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. <laughs> Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us? You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, 
Okay? Hey. Hey, mm. we're cool. We're cool. cool. They're cool. Dad, look. A Christmas tree. Not now, Sarah. It's not Christmas, Sarah. Isn't it great. We found it all in storage. It's Come amazing. on, Sarah. What's wrong, Kenny? Yeah, come on. We gotta all start trusting everyone. Everyone put your weapons down. We'll all have good time. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. <laughs> Sapper is just mind blown. <laughs> the lack of Australian cuisine knowledge. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to. It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my <laughs> son, well, he helped me do the right thing. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Can use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? So this place seems safe and all. So, hey, Clementine. what's gonna go wrong? Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. 
and a tumbler of that. salad with a peach roux. It's peaches yeah. and beans. That's all we got. Is peaches and beans a good striking resemblance? Taste combination. That's anyway. the second time someone's made that joke. CD. I'm gonna play some. Cousin Jared's concert, October thirteenth. Relaxing tunes of Cousin Jared. Let's play some relaxing tunes of Cousin Jared. No. Oh, fine. Come on. Where am I going? That was a thing too. Yeah. Reminds me of school. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, I haven't seen so one of these the since. On. But the king tells the servant to just the reckoning. Mark my footsteps. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how do you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. He has a lovely majestic we beard now. We always an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Find the tree topper. Oh, I'll find it like my life depends on it. What a funny little guy. Is that the topper? That's not the topper. What's the topper? Ooh, we found a map. Hmm. That could be useful. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Sarah is a special kind of special. Uh, he's, he's nice. Where's this topper thing I'm supposed to find? Can't be that hard. No, I'm guessing it's going to be upstairs or something. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? <laughs> Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. <laughs> I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We did cannot they? take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. No, we're safe. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. But I just wanna... I wanna relax. I wanna have Christmas, even though it's not Christmas.
Is this the kind of decision making in this open story that we get to make? Do we get to choose what ornament is on top of the Christmas tree? Are you gonna go? Bye, Kitty. Oh, is it a star? Or do we take the angel? Troy says, well, I'll go traditional and go with the star. Lovely. That's nice, I guess. Oh, what? Sarah! Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this town. That was my decision. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Hmm. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. I haven't noticed. Oh, well, let me know if you do. <laughs> well, you three have been busy. Kenny... Isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Now that's the same old Kenny. Gentlemen, <laughs> but I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? I bet Matthew is the guy that... Hmm. Oh, was he? Did he say his name? I forget if he did. Yeah, you must have been the guy that we shot. Well, rip in Pete, Matthew. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Oh. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food smells good. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> It's okay. Sure. We're gonna get you something. If so this makes me yeah, more I... friends with you, I will put my head next to your belly. She's gonna be. And partner. listen to the growing human kick your belly from the inside. It's not his. <gasps> How do you well, know? How do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long and. And then, if Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. It's gonna be a banner. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> Ooh, if they find out that Nick killed their friend, okay, man. there is gonna be yeah, problems. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Ah. Uh, oh, we have to make a decision of friendship. Uh, uh, well, technically I've known Kenny much longer and we are just reuniting so it would make more sense that I would want to be with him at least for the first night of rejoining with him. On the other hand, we have them that I've been with 
more recently, they have saved me from almost dying recently. But yes, Nick is not a nice guy. <laughs> they might take it the wrong way. Yeah, they are they are angry people. He is nice and we haven't seen him in a long time. But I wouldn't want to anger them. Decisions! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, hmm. oh, I don't want to offend Kenny either. He's a nice guy and he can also get offended pretty quickly. Uh, but, oh, oh, oh. Well, they have a bigger group there. I feel like it's, it'd be better to to uh, talk with the new people. I mean, talk with the this people because they're new people and it'd be good to get to know them and uh, try and be friends with them because I'm already f kind of friends with these people. Because Kenny rhymes with Ben. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit with Kenny. That's what I was thinking. That was my gut feeling. Hopefully it doesn't mess up anything too bad. Here you go, Clem. Ooh, so Clem, we were just I can feel the heartbreak. What's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. Poor Luke. That guy. He's just Big a Al. good guy. He said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying mm. for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Ah, oh, drama. Ah, oh, what's going on? Little mix and match. Hey there. Hey, hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> Lovely. <sighs> so it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that <laughs> what? supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So... What was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? I bet it's not going to be a problem, good camp. Kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land. That's what they all say. Winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. Well, that'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clam? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Oh, it's no. Fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Nick, why do you always have to make a no need for deal of everything? Now, look, we've all had a long day. Please. Dang, damn it, Nick. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> what? <laughs> duck? Who's duck? Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? For those you don't, who don't know, can a duck was his uh son that is now dead <laughs> so that's nice uh, i'm sorry about that you know i used to be a teacher and i remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks i suspect they'll find common ground soon enough it may take a little time but that's just how these things work <laughs> yeah nick is a hazard 
We have to look after him, though. He relationships promised Pete. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What uh, do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's <laughs> Zombie Peace is always watching. Steinbeck. With his have guts torn out. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. Oh, uh, he is the guy we In killed. Case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. Oh, uh, Matthew is the guy we killed because he has the collection of books time? in his chest. Uh... You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. <laughs> Your friend's dead. Friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Who's that? Miss? Wait, I feel like I've seen her before. Or they just reused her character model. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty Walt, sure we did. I, I have played Just with this person like that? It's fine, before. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? She can't hurt anyone. Look at her. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean it like that. Whoa, Clem. Thank you just... Really? Roasted her. <laughs> I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. <laughs> Savage. But yeah, I remember I playing as Bonnie girl like you. for a little, like, mini episode How old thing. Are you, sweetie? I don't know. I'm 11. Oh, I, I thought she was older. I also did as well, Bonnie. Move you more. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Hmm. Lots of food books. Clementine. Don't freak out. Yeah. We definitely killed Matt. Listen. I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Yeah, I think we established that. Thanks, game, for See, I knew something was slapping off, so me in the face with their friend. the information I already now knew. All worried he's not back yet. I already he figured it out. Was, for sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. <laughs> I don't think Walter, Walter is a nice guy. So we have to keep yeah, this quiet. Yeah, also welcome. Who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. Uh, what if he finds out what anyway? If he finds out anyway. Well, then we're fucked, but, you know, we'll just, we'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. 
It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? <laughs> get out of here, Nick. Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, get out. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Nothing. nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. Mm. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? Fine, I'll show. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Maybe showing him Nick, shut the fuck up. his mistake I can't, man. I can't. Do will make him be nicer Blow it. to the Over. people that I have to tell him, Luke. brought us in. What? No, you can't. Hey. Ah oh, dang! <laughs> Damn it, Nick. I got I can't live with Just no. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus, I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing. All right. <laughs> dang, damn, Nick. Why? You're a hazard and a setback to all of us. Oh, where'd it go? It's gone. Oh, I already found it. Oh, no. Walter's not going to be such a nice guy anymore. I am assuming. Walter? Oh no. He's like this knife. He's uh he's gonna he's he's not gonna be Maybe nice to Matthew and when all this started. I uh, think he's uh I know he's dead. Uh, Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh Nick? Oh uh, he's gonna either kill Nick or something about shooting a man. Or kill someone. Someone's gonna go down. I could see it. I could see it on his face. I wasn't sure then, but now... I always try to tell the truth, it just because I assume that they will... Things will take their course. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. He's gonna kill Nick. <laughs> He's gonna kill Nick. I could feel it. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He's, he's a good guy. Please. Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? Ah, uh, he's kind of like the, he that, is. though. <laughs> he's a good guy, Walter. Oh, no. Nick, get away. You're gonna die. Going up, I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No matter was on the best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Oh yeah. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me <laughs> what happened. Her. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, I, I thought I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I. Uh oh. I shot Matt. Here we go. <laughs> It happened real fast. I didn't. I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Ah. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, Walter. You are a nice guy. I'm guessing if I didn't do things correctly, Nick would have died. <laughs> Walt, what's going on? But what is going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Nick, help me. Carry <laughs> the guns. Guns? Get 
thing's a damn dinner bell. So, Walter's sad boys. What else? What the hell was that? Damn it! Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. The rest of you, get this thing shut down. Okay. Uh, I feel like someone gonna die within this episode. Something is gonna happen. But this episode's already longer than the uh, previous episode. Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Maybe what am I doing? I didn't sign up for this. Yes, a little girl knows how to operate a heavy machinery and uh, whatever. Ah, oh, well that was easy. Ah, oh, they're already here. Ammunition. We got to get back to the lodge. They're behind us. They're everywhere. Okay, something's going down. What am I supposed to do? Other than shoot. Ah. Oh. Ah. Come on. There we go. What I was what was over there that I was supposed to do? Ah, oh, someone's gonna die. And it's not gonna be me. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Run, go. Oh no, Carlos! Oh, oh Carlos! Keep Get to the lodge. But where's uh Kenny and Luke? We can't lose Kenny. Come on, Clementine, just run. Just run. You could just run. They're so slow. Why can't you just? Oh, uh, right. Stab him in the face. Uh oh, we're gonna have to save one person over the other. I think. Oh, <laughs> oh, Walter could kill both of them. Oh, okay. He did the good thing. That's good. Where's he going though? Oh, okay. Clem, get inside. Go. Hmm. Where's Sarah? Clementine, are you okay? He's got the automatic. What the hell? Oh, what, what is happening? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's this guy. Oh no, and she's with him. Howdy, folks. Uh oh. I spit in your I direction. You too. Oh. Dad, Sarah. Can 
inside. Why are these guys just trying to track us down? What is your it's problem? You. Keep moving. Are they only after us because of uh, the whammon, the pregnant whammon, who has possibly Carver's daughter? That could be the reason. Look at this place. Leave this fucking place, Bonnie. Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. What am I supposed to do? It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. What are we doing? Come on, Clementine. Sneaky sneak. What do they want from us? Poor Carlos. Why are you hurting Carlos? Where's Rebecca? Oh, so he is after her. Look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Rebecca! Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. And Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. <laughs> He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If we start shooting and people are gonna die on both sides. <laughs> Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! No. Uh -oh. Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Mm. Don't look, sweetie. Don't look. Dad! Mm. Nobody! Well, I don't want Carlos God, to die. <laughs> Rebecca is. Rebecca, we have to give up. Bill, stop! Ah! Ah! <laughs> you all right? Fuck you, Bill. <laughs> The only good thing she said oh, this whole know, please, series. Please let these people go. Just shut up. Oh, oh, oh. Clem, can you reach my hands? Come on, look at Everything his hands. Clem. Let's just get our people home, alright? I can't. They'll see. Oh. Kenny! Don't move! I'm 
I can't see him. Watch them. What are you doing? Don't touch Walter. He's a humble, nice man. Oh, wow! Oh. No! Please stop! That's for our man. Now I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. Wow! So here's what's gonna happen. This guy's just I'm evil. Watch another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Ah! Or you can give up now. Your choice. Walter. Calvin. Bill, no. Tell him to stop. Can he stop? You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have. Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no. We'll do whatever you want. I love you, Beck. Bill, please! Kenny! Move! Don't shoot! Ah. Uh. What? Why me? <laughs> well... We can do this all night! At least I'm protected by want? plot armor. <laughs> I'm the perfect hostage. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. In a zombie apocalypse situation, why would you waste your time trying to track down people? I, I understand his wife, or his uh, whatever, that he impregnated, but why take all of us? That's just more people to feed. Or whatever. I don't see, why would you waste your time with that? Ah, is that the end of uh, episode 2? No I don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Oh, Kenny. Folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well. Those who choose not to accept our love surely wish that they had. No. A storm is on the way. Next time on The Walking Dead Season 2. Let's see. Took blame for Sarah's photo. Most people did not. Most people sat with Kenny, yeah. Told Walter, Walter about the truth. Most people said the truth. Convinced Walter to forgive. We did that. So Nick would have died, I think, if we didn't do the right thing. Quite a... Hmm. Left to find Kenny. Most people stayed to save or help Carlos. So I'm guessing... Nick would have died, and that would have been a bad death to have, because there would have been, like, like he wouldn't have to die. But this one, I think it would have either been Carlos or or uh, Walter would have died. Someone would have definitely died at this treat. And I think keeping Carlos is kind of the better person than Walter, even though Walter's a nice guy. 
I feel like, yeah, Carlos is better. Anyway, um, that is the end of episode two, so that'll be the end of the stream. And we will continue this tomorrow or whenever else I stream, so you should follow if you haven't already to keep up to date and all that stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone who did. <laughs> Rip in Pete Walter. And I will see you guys next time on CD Cruise Live. Goodbye.